This video will review some mock exam questions for the private pilot written test. Suggested study resources include the Aeronautical Information Manual, the Pilot's Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge, the Federal Aviation Regulations, abbreviated FARS, and the Airplane Flying Handbook. The first question asks. Maintenance records show the last transponder inspection was performed on September 1, 2014. The next inspection will be due no later than. This question pertains to transponder testing requirements found in FAR Part 91.413 Section A, transponders must be inspected every 24 months. The correct answer is C since the inspection date deadline falls on the last day of the month. Question 2 asks. With respect to the certification of airmen, which are categories of aircraft? Can you guess the correct answer? If you guessed B, you are correct. This question pertains to FAR 61.5 Section B. Information on airport lighting signals can be found in the Pilot's Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge, Chapter 1425. Question 3 asks. A flashing white light from the control tower to a taxiing aircraft is an indication to. As you can see from the illustration below a flashing white light is an indication to return to the starting point on the airport. Therefore, the correct answer is C. Question 4 asks. During operations outside controlled airspace at altitudes of more than 1,200 feet AGL, but less than 10,000 feet MSL, the minimum flight visibility for day VFR flight is. Basic VFR weather minimums can be found in the Pilot's Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge Chapter 15. Section 8. The correct answer to question 4 is A, 1 mile. Question 5 asks. Unless otherwise authorized, two-way radio communications with air traffic control are required for landings or takeoffs at all towered airports. Information on radio communications with ATC can be found in the Aeronautical Information Manual. Chapter 3-2-1 The correct answer to question 5 is A. Question 6 During operations outside controlled airspace at altitudes of more than 1,200 feet AGL, but less than 10,000 feet MSL, the minimum distance below clouds requirement for VFR flight at night is as you can see from the chart, the correct answer is A. 500 feet. Moving on to question 7. The question asks. Two-way radio communication must be established with the air traffic control facility having jurisdiction over the area prior to entering which class airspace? Prior clearance must be received prior to entering class A, B, C, and D. So the correct answer is A, Class C. Question 8. Pre-takeoff briefing of passengers about the use of seatbelts for a flight is the responsibility of. FAR Part 91.107 required the pilot in command to ensure each person on board the aircraft is briefed on how to use the safety belts in the airplane. The correct answer is B. The pilot in command. Next question. A 100-hour inspection was due at 3,302.5 hours. The 100-hour inspection was done at 3,309.5 hours. When is the next 100-hour inspection due? The correct answer is C. Review FAR Part 91.409. Section B for more information on 100-hour inspections. See figure 47 on the left. While on final approach to a runway equipped with a standard two-bar VASI, the lights appear as shown by illustration D. This means that the aircraft is. As you can see from figure 14-29, red over red means you are below the glide path. Therefore the answer is B. See the Pilot's Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge Chapter 14-17 for more information on VASI systems. See figure 26 on the left. The last question asks. 
the day VFR visibility and cloud clearance requirements to operate over the town of Cooperstown after departing and climbing out of the Cooperstown airport at or below 700 feet AGLR. The floor of the Class E airspace starts at 700 feet AGL inside the magenta band. Below 700 feet is considered Class G inside the magenta band. So the Cooper's 10 airport is in Class G airspace and the visibility requirements for VFR flight during the day is one statute mile and clear of clouds. We hoped you found the information helpful as you are preparing for the private pilot written exam. Please like the video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching this video.